Hey guys, Dark Desert Highway here with my son. Micah from Michael's Minecraft City. <laughs> and uh, today we're going to read the Bible, but we're going to read a version that I found. Uh, it's a comic book Bible. It's called Good and Evil, the ultimate comic book action Bible. And it's really cool. I bought the um, book version for my son. And if you go to their website, which is up in the top um, left hand corner, you can read this book online for free. And so, this book is mostly based off of sacrifice, war, temptation, betrayal, and hope. Yes. And redemption. So if you go to the website goodandevilbook.com, you'll be able to find it and read it online. And we're going to start from the beginning. Chapter 1, the beginning. This story is told in an old book, thousands of years old. Every word I am going to tell you is true. Some of it will be hard to believe. But the truth is often stranger than fiction. In the beginning, before the first man was created, before the earth, the sun, the stars, even before light and time were created, there was God. Speak up. He alone existed without being. Beginning. Beginning. But he was not lonely, unlike... Finite. Finite man. Man, God exists simulation simultaneously. simultaneously as three persons in one. Each distinct person is co-equal and co-internal. One is essence, one nature, in essence. power, action, and will. He commanded with his with himself in harmonious, harmonious. Love, harmonious love. But God wanted to share his love. He wanted friends and neighbors. Okay, make sure you speak up. Now, it's important that we teach our children about God. And it's kind of cool that God has set it up in stories. So we teach our kids stories. Um, the history of God and man together. Um, and when you find things like this, they're just awesome. So make sure you speak up and let's keep going. Oh, the Bible tells us God created numerous kinds of angelic beings to offer praise around his throne. But one called Lucifer led a third of them into rebellion. God cast them out of heaven and changed Lucifer's name to Satan. So you see how I'm speaking up? Yeah. But this is not their story. This is the story of God working with mankind. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And it came to pass that the earth was formless and void. And the creator moved upon the face of the waters. Suddenly God spoke into the darkness, let there be light. He created all things by simply speaking them into existence. In six 24-hour days, God made plants and animals to populate the earth. On the sixth day, with the evil ones watching, God formed a new creature from the dust of the ground. God breathed his own life into the body of clay. And the man became a living soul. He was made in the image of God, higher than the animals. God called the new creature man and gave him the name Adam. God looked at all of his creations and said, it is very good. Every day God talked with Adam and life was wonderful. God brought all the animals before Adam so he could give each one a name. As the animals passed, Adam came to realize that he did not have a mate like they, like they did. And God said, I will make a mate to help Adam. God caused Adam to experience a deep sleep and then took a rib from his side. 
With the rib, God fashioned a beautiful woman to be Adam's loving helper. God woke Adam and brought the woman to him. He told them to have children and replenish the earth, and Adam called his beautiful new wife Eve. She is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. They were both naked, but like children, they were not aware of it. Satan, the evil one, watched. They were happy in the garden. There is no sin, no hunger. It got neither too hot nor cold. God spoke of the tree, saying, You may eat of all the trees, but do not eat from this one tree in the middle of the garden. For in the day you eat, you will die. Oops. You skipped a page. I think I skipped a page. And it's working. <laughs> uh, I don't know what it's working for. We'll be right back. Eve disobeyed God and ate the fruit. Too late, Eve realized that she had been deceived. It caused her to know good and evil, but the evil took control. Eve took the fruit to her husband and talked him into eating it. See, I didn't die. Eat it and it will also make you wise. They were enlightened and were ashamed of their nakedness. What have we done? We disobeyed God. He will be coming soon. We must cover our nakedness. Ha ha ha. He will kill you now. Look at what he did to me. Sit up. Adam, where are you? I heard your voice and I was afraid because I was naked. Who told you that you were naked? Did you disobey me and eat of the forbidden fruit? The woman you gave me made me do it. <laughs> the serpent deceived me. He told me I wouldn't die, that I would be like you. But I am not like you. I feel awful. So the serpent, so God cursed the serpent and said unto him, I will make you, oh, because you have done this, I will make you crawl on your belly and get dust in your mouth. I will make your seed and the woman's child to be enemies. Your seed will bruise his heel, but the woman's child, he will bruise your head. Here is promise of a future battle. A time will come when the woman's seed will defeat Satan. This person will redeem mankind back to God and deliver them from the curse of sin and death. God could have destroyed Lucifer and all his angels in just a moment's time. But he allowed them to live as a test for the human race. Will men follow God, or will they follow Satan in his rebellion? God cursed mankind, saying, Adam, because you yielded to your wife's persuasion, persuasion and disobey me, I will curse this earth and cause thorns and thistles to grow better than the vegetables, and you, you will have to work hard to make the ground produce something to eat. As long as you live, you will have sorrow working by the sweat on your face until you die and return to the ground from which you were made. It was now time for Adam and Eve to die. Just as God promised. But instead of killing them, God killed animals in their place and took their skin to make coats for Adam and Eve. He didn't kill us. We're still alive. He killed the animals instead of us. Adam and Eve didn't die that day because innocent animals died in their places. But the death sentence had passed upon them and eventually they would die. Death is the penalty for sin. Since Adam and Eve were now sinners, God put them out of the beautiful garden so they would not eat the tree of life and live forever in their sinful states. This book is really good. 
God placed a special kind of angel called the cherubim at the entrance of the garden to keep anyone from getting to the trees of life. The garden was eventually destroyed and the tree moved from the earth. One day it will be brought back to the earth, but I am getting ahead of my story. Oh, hold on. Skip the page. Skip the page. Adam and Eve had many children. Later, their sons and daughters would marry each other and have children of their own. Their first son, Cain, grew vegetables and fruit. Their second son, Abel, raised animals. Could it be that one of them would be the promised son who would destroy Satan? Cain and Abel knew about God and the events in the garden, but God no longer walked and talked with humanity. Adam and all of his descendants were separated. From God by Adam's disobedient life was hard without God. Oh God, I am a sinful man. I kill this lamb and offer it to you in the place of my own death. There came a day when the two sons decided to worship God. Their father had told them of God killing the animals in the garden. So by faith, Abel slew an animal and offered it to God. Cain made an offering of the best he had, but it was not a blood sacrifice. Cain did not understand that his sin offended God. God, please accept this gift of the best I have to offer. Will one of these men be the promised redeemer? No, Cain. God rejected Cain's offering because it was without. God was pleased with Abel and his offering when he saw the shedding of the blood of the innocent man. God put away Abel's sin. Speak up. God said to Cain, If you do what you should, I will be pleased with you. Also, you will rule over your brother Abel, and he will live in subjection to you. Good job. That was a hard word. Who do you think you are? My fruits and vegetables are worth more than that bloody lamb. What makes you so special? My brother, there is still time to offer a blood sacrifice. I had all of this I'm going to take. Whack! <coughs> Abel died and Cain tried to hide his sin of murder. But Cain could not hide from his evil deed from God. God sees and knows all. Cain, where is your brother Abel? How should I know? Am I supposed to take care of my brother? Your brother's blood is still on the ground. It speaks to me of your evil deed. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. God knows everything. He sees everyone all the time. Nothing can be hidden from him. He saw what Cain did to Abel. God placed a curse on Cain, and he fled into the wilderness, taking his wife with him. His guilt caused him great grief, great grief and suffering. Cain could not be the promised deliverer. He himself in, was indeed in of need. deliverance. In need in of need deliverance. Of Speak up. When man was first created, mutant, mutant genes. genes that caused deformation through inbreeding had not yet developed, but later when it came became a problem, God commanded to close relatives should not marry. What about God's promise of a son that would deliver? Adam and Eve had another son and called him Seth. Many more sons and daughters were born unto them. God has given me another boy to take the place of the one that Cain killed. Seth had a son, and his son had a son, and many more sons were born. But still none came forth to remove the curse of sin and destroy death. Soon the earth was populated with many cities, villages, and farms. Oop, it skipped again. 
with each new generation as the people increased and increased and people committed sexual sins and were violent. Every thought was sinful. No one lived righteously. Adam had committed one sin. The people now committed many sins. God said, I regret I made man on earth. I will destroy everything that is alive on earth. Satan, who hates God's kingdom, will be pleased to see God kill everyone. Nine generations had now passed. 1,040 years. 400. 400. When the world was filled with sins, men, men made slaves of their fellow man. Will God ever take a family to love him and walk in obedience? Approximately 2,500 B.C. But there was one man who practiced justice and always did the right thing. Though God would kill all the others on the earth, he decided to be gracious to this man and not kill him or his family. Noah I am going to send a great flood of water upon all the earth. Everything that has breath will die. In order to save yourself, your family, and the animals, you will build a big boat. Take with you on the boat one pair of every animal upon the face of the earth. You will take seven of all that are permissible to eat. I will tell you about how to build the boat and what you will need to do to prepare for the flood. Could Noah be the promised child, the one to destroy the work of Satan? Will he obey God, or will he too fail? God told Noah how big the boat must be to hold two of every air-breathing creature on the earth, along with the food that they would eat. Could Noah be the promised child, the one to destroy the works of Satan? Will he obey God, or will he too fail? God told Noah how big the boat must be to hold two of every breathing creature on the earth, along with the food they would eat. It made Noah sad to think of everyone perishing in the coming flood, so at every chance he warned them to stop sinning. You old fool. I'm telling you, one last time, God is going to destroy the world with a great flood. You must believe me and join me on the boat. Why would a loving God destroy his children? Because of sin, you must stop sinning and treat your neighbor with love and justice. Look, here come many more animals. They come on their own, like someone is calling them. Some are so strange looking, I didn't know such animals existed. Could you think there could be anything to what Noah says about God sending a flood? Not a chance. Where could you get enough water to flood the entire earth? Bye. There's not much room left. This is the last of them. Noah, it is time. Come into the boat with all your family and the animals. It will soon be too late for all those who refuse to stop sinning. God shut the door to the boat, and for seven days, nothing happened. Haha, <laughs> look at the who shut up in a big boat with all those animals in the middle of a dry plain, miles from any water. Yeah, I bet the lions have eaten them by now. They have been in there for a week. But on the seventh day, it began to rain, and water stuck. Stored deep in the earth came to the surface. I have never seen anything like this. Do you think the crazy people in the boat could be right about God wanting to kill everybody for sin? Don't be ridiculous. God is love. How could one man be right and our religious leaders be wrong? Before this time... It had never rained. The weather was always nice, and the mist came up from the earth to water the ground. No one had ever seen or heard of rain. So many people 
thought Noah was crazy about thinking water was going to fall from the sky, but Noah believed what God said. I should have listened to Noah. What a fool I have been. God save my baby. By the time the people realized Noah had been telling the truth, it was too late. It rained 40 days and nights until the water covered every mountain on the whole earth. Every living soul that breathed air died, except those that were in the boat with Noah. It would be more than a year before they would leave the boat. There were some animals that drowned. Yeah. It's your turn. I'll be glad when the water goes down and we can leave this boat. Finally, Noah released a dove and it came back with a branch in its mouth which meant that somewhere there was a tree already growing. Later, he again realized it. Released it? Released it, and that it did not come back, which meant it had found a good place to live, or it was eaten. <laughs> Before long, the boat settled on the mountain top called Ararat. Ararat. Everyone came out to the new world, a world without sin. Noah built an offer, an altar and offered animal sacrifices to God. Though Noah was just a man, there's not enough animals. There, <laughs> though Noah was just a man, yeah, no. there was still a sin in his heart. These blood sacrifices were offered to God in substitution for the lives of Noah and all his family. The animals represented the eight. Oh, I guess they were making babies on the boat. So that works. Yeah. The animals represented the eight who should have died in the flood, but they were spared by the grace of God. It was something like what God did in the garden when he killed animals to make coverings for Adam and Eve. I will give you a rainbow in the sky as a reminder that I will never again destroy the earth with water. You should have many children and scatter out to repopulate the whole earth. I will make animals to fear me. Men, you may eat any creature that is alive and crawling on earth, just as you eat vegetables and herbs, but you are not to eat the blood of any creature. Do not kill anyone. If someone is found to be guilty of killing another, by he is to be killed by another man if the man sheds the blood of another man. Then the other man should shed his blood to pay for his crime because the life is in the blood. Noah became a farmer and planted grapes. The new world was lonely, but just poor families. But soon his sons were having children of their own. Noah discovered that by putting fruit in a container and leaving it for a few weeks, it made an alcoholic drink that caused him to feel funny. Noah got to liking the drink so much that at times he couldn't work. He would just fall down unconscious. It made him do things that displeased God. One day, Noah got so drunk that he made himself naked and then passed out. His son, Ham, looked on his father's shame and found pleasure in it. He told his brothers in a mocking tone what he had seen. When Noah awoke, his sons told him what Ham had done. Your son, Canaan, and all his descendants will be the servants of the descendants of your brother, Shem. Many years later, this prophecy came true. The Canaanites occupied the Palestine, occupied Palestine, and ended up in servitude to the Jews. I, I actually think that he didn't deserve. The son didn't deserve to die. Oh yeah. No, is the one who should deserve to die. Yikes! Got drunk. God doesn't allow drunkness. And yeah. Okay. God killed everyone uh, except those eight people. Seth, Adam, and Eve. Abel, Cain. Abel died. Shem, Heth, Ham. And Japheth. And 
Jesus. Noah and his family found grace in the eyes of God. In time, Jephthah went west and north to settle and repopulate. Shem went east and settled in Asia. Ham went south. That's actually a pretty funny name. <laughs> and settled in Africa and southern Asia. Then descendants of his son, Canna, sounds like Canada, settled in what is now called Palestine. Palestine. And so the world was repopulated. Noah's son, Ham, and uh, had a son. Had a son named Cush, and then Cush had a son named Nirmarod. Nirmarod grew up to be a, a mighty hunter and was well known throughout the whole earth. He refused to obey God, that's bad, and started his own false religion in a place called Babylon. Yeah, Babylon. Babylon. Yeah. The people of Babylon did not want to scatter out and repopulate the earth as God had commanded. So they got together and built a great and high tower as a center of worship. I swear, if there's a statue, I'm probably going to... Of course. But it was not their creator they worshipped. Satan led them to create their own gods out of wood, stone, and metal. God was angry and at their refusal to scatter over the earth. So he caused the people to speak many different languages. The workmen could no longer understand each other, so they could not continue the work. Each language group went in its own way. Some people went to distant places. Wait, Dad. I kind of don't think that there, it started with one man and one woman. Because how did black people come? That's the question. That's a good question. Let's yeah. keep going. Some traveled in ships to distant islands, some to the north where it was cold, some down into the deserts where it was hot. So God commanded to repopulate the earth was fulfilled. As the earth was filled with people, sin again increased. The people bowed down to idols and forgot the living God. Chapter 2, Abraham. Okay, we'll stop here and we'll go to chapter 2 later, okay? Yeah. So, it's really important that we teach our children to know about God. And it's awesome that resources like this have come around and are available to us. So if you like, you can just go to the link on that. Uh, I actually bought the book for my kid, and he reads it all the time in place of the Bible because the yeah. Bible is a really advanced book. So the comic book style of pictures and words and stuff, he loves it. He's been, he's been reading it. He says he loves to read the Bible, and he's read the whole book already. So anyways, guys, I hope that you have a good day. And subscribe, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I may do a video where I read my own Bible to you guys. Alright, have a good day guys. Bye.